Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you, Virgos, and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those, and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Now, I have been kind of getting a few songs, so any of the readings that I put out today is going to be related to some sort of song, okay? Um, now, for this one, this is a song by, you probably, uh, most of you probably don't know who it is, but his name is Ritical. I think I'm saying it right. Ritual. It's R-Y-I-T-A-L, okay? And it's one of his songs um, called um, Chosen. And I'm going to play it in my head in a, in a minute in the background. You won't be able to hear it because I've got headphones on. But if you listen to the song, it's almost like he's having a conversation with the Most High, okay? Almost like he's asking a question. Now, for some of my Virgos, I don't know if you have been praying about something or if you've been asking for some sort of confirmation or some sort of direction um, in a certain situation, okay? Because one of the first things he says in the song, he says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and with my voice unto the Lord did I make my application. And that's when I kind of read, okay, you've been praying for something, Virgos? You know, um... I've also got speaking or seeing, you may be seeing or maybe you've heard some sort of truth in a situation or about a person. And then I've gone on to write, you know, for a lot of my Virgo, Virgos, you, how do I say this spirit? It's almost like, I don't know if you're going through some sort of an awakening, okay? Um, this could even be like something like the dark night of the soul, right? Um, going through some sort of transformation here because there was an energy here where I've written you've been broken you've been in the energy of being stressed maybe you, you've been in the energy of losing things you've had some sort of loss right um, but it's almost that energy where spirit wants you to hold on to some sort of hope or faith here because it really makes me feel like you're gonna you're having some sort of a level up here Right. And sometimes that journey can be scary. It's almost like the journey from the south node to the north node. Right. Stepping into your power. Stepping into, how would you say it? Um, I guess getting to know and understand you and the reason why you're here. You see, that energy of being chosen, right, it's not going to relate to everybody. Right. I feel like that energy of being chosen, whatever you kind of category you want to put yourself under, right? Whether you, you want to say you're a healer or a star seed or an indigo child or whatever it is. There's a lot of you that have a bigger purpose than the life that you have been living. And sometimes you don't realize or recognize that until you go through certain things, right? But then it's that energy of you're still standing, so it kind of reminds me of something I said the other day, where it's that energy of sometimes you have to be hurt, right? And then you have to heal to become the healer. It's that energy of where people say, Do you know what, the best people to ask about certain things is people that have been through that. Because they will have a better understanding of where you're coming from or where you're at or how you're feeling or what you're going through because they've been there. And so they can encourage you to kind of come out of that energy or pull yourself through it. I've also got, I don't know, you maybe also feel like you're maybe being attacked by other people or it doesn't necessarily have to be physically attacked, right? Um, it could just be people around you that are maybe trying to make your life difficult here because I've got an energy here where it says people think they know you. And it's almost like I have LOL, spirit said, they know the old you. So you see that energy of that transformation and that change and you even just feeling different in yourself for some of you. It says, and this was spirit saying, do you have to rise before they notice? 
Because you see this energy of transformation, it would make sense with the next song that I was hearing. But you would have to listen to the songs to kind of get where I'm coming from, unless you already know them, okay? But the next song that I heard after Spirit said that, do you have to rise before they notice? Like, does Spirit have to put you on some sort of a pedal stool in front of these people before they, they see the difference um, in you, before they see the change in you, before they need to realize they need to start relating you to the old you? And for some of Virgos, maybe you don't even realize how much you have changed. Because the next song is a song by Alkaline. Someone could definitely be intaking a lot more water at this time, okay? But um, the next song was by alkaline and it was his song formula you know and i this is where i read spirits gifting you with something or they're getting ready to do something here hmm. how does that saying go they're saying something like almost like they're going to prepare a feast for you in the presence of your enemies now the formula song you know from alkaline it talks about you know i don't know if he kind of like saying you know maybe you were missing for a little while or whatever maybe something's been stagnant for you or but you see he says that he cuts and comes back with the formula that means that you come back better you come back stronger you come back wiser so let's get into your message virgos let's see what this is about what do you have for my virgos what is the energy here today spirit what do you want virgos to know Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. They're saying misery. So be careful of the company that you keep because we all know that misery likes, um, is it misery likes company? Coming out sideways is a blockage. Show me going forward. You have letting go going forward. So again, this energy of what is it that you need to release? You have free spirit at the bottom of the deck. Coming out sideways, like I said, is a blockage and it's acceptance. So again, this energy of somebody not really accepting something here. And it doesn't always have to do with other people. This could be something that you are holding on to. Could it be a mindset? Could it be a habit? Could it be an addiction? Three, spirit and gratitude. And dreaming. See, and truth. Some of you may be having some sort of dreams or signs and synchronicities. And maybe you're just like, you know what? You really don't know if you can believe it. Or there is something that you are dreaming about that you really want to do. Or somewhere you really want to go. Or something you really want to build. And Spirit's saying, hey, you can turn that dream into reality. But you have to believe. Some of you, when you let something go, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, thank you, God. Thank you for pushing me to do that. Some of you may have uh, something or someone around you that may be draining you of your energy. You have to be aware of this. Pay attention to how you feel when you're around certain people. Pay attention to when you eat certain things or drink certain things, how it makes you feel. Trust your intuition. Trust that inner guidance here. Because it's going to lead you to abundance. Yeah, I'm telling you, the future. What do you want your future to look like? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Do you want to be miserable? Do you want to be in a place where you're happy? Look at that, the Ace of Wands and the Awakening. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. 
you have awakened and it says, look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So spirit says there's nothing wrong with taking a temporary pause to reflect, right? But you don't stay in that energy. you got to keep moving. Ace of fire and the star, happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. Stop questioning yourself. Stop doubting yourself. What is this for my Virgos? What is acceptance? So you have the Knight of Earth. You have the Three of Earth. So that makes the Four of Pentacles. So that can talk about an energy of holding back. But it says time to buckle down. It says to get things done. It says honor your commitments. It says a guardian angel. It says the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. It says be a team player. The nine of air. And what is that? The two of fire. Someone is stressed about making some sort of a choice. Okay, the nine of air it talks about someone who is expecting the worst, which is why they hold back. You know, even though the knight of earth um, it has a solid offer, right? And it can talk about someone who just wants to be practical and they're being patient and things like that, just wanting to make sure they make the right choice in a situation. The Nine of Air, it, it, it talks about self-fulfilling prophecies. It's that energy of somebody saying, oh, I'm not going to do that because I know if I do that, it's not going to work out for me. Well, you just manifested that for yourself, so it probably won't. It talks about sleepless nights. What is? Show me more. What's acceptance? Some of my, I just heard that for a Virgo in here, you have to accept. I, I probably said this already, but you have to accept that something is not going anywhere. You have the five of pentacles coming out. Someone here could have definitely worries surrounding money and things like that. Well, it's that kind of an energy, okay? If you want to increase your finances and things like that, then what are you doing about it? It says fear surrounding money. It says the wisdom to accept help from others. It says uncertain self-employment. Now, that's sitting right underneath the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles can talk about, um, how do you say it? Collaboration. People working together. So maybe someone here needs some sort of help in a situation. Then, you know, ask for it. Clarify what the Knight of Earth is with the Nine of... Um, with the Nine of Air. Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Air. Why is it here? What are we getting stuck on? The Knight of Air or the Two of Water. So this can talk about seizing opportunities, right? The Knight of Air talks about things that happens really quickly. And the Two of Water can, yes, talk about love and romance. But it can also talk about, you know, you building friendships with people that you're able to trust. Now, the, in this deck, the Two of Cups does also talk about forgiveness, it talks about a positive resolution to conflict. But it may take communication. Maybe someone finds communication challenging with that night of air. What's the three of earth with the five of earth? The nine of fire. So these two together made the eight of pentacles. Some of you, you're worried about something. And it's almost like spirit is saying here, listen, you have mastered something. You have the nine of fire and it says don't give up. It says protect that which you have created. It says have courage and believe in yourself. This is an energy of keep going. Perseverance. What is letting go? What is letting go from our Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Give me a clear message. Thank you. Yeah, coming out sideways is a blockage here. So the three of air, and this talks about heartache, sadness, 
Um, it can talk about loneliness, right? Um, it does maybe talk about, for some of you, maybe something here happened in the past that maybe you need to release now. It says great sadness. It says take time to heal. It says the need to forgive yourself and others. So show me more about let go. Yeah, the emperor. This is taking back control of your life here. Right? It says organization and logic. It says structure and discipline. It says leadership. There could maybe have been something here to do with a child, okay? Because in the three of air, you see like there is two adult horses, but there is a small horse here. What's letting go? Show me more. Coming in the reverse, page of pentacles. I don't know, someone feels like they made a bad choice. Or again, it is a page. It can tell me that something here may have to do with a child or children. But in the upright, it says good news and finance. It says good news about financial matters. It says wanting to do something more challenging. It says a new area of study. But again, this is in the reverse. It's almost like someone here may feel like not motivated about something. Or I don't know if someone here has like lost the zest for life. What's the emperor? Coming out sideways again, okay? So blockages here. It's your energy, Virgo, the hermit. Now this talks about spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching and self-discovery. But again, I don't know if someone here is, is coming out sideways. Give me one on the hermit coming out sideways. Thank you, spirit. Queen of air. And then you have life experiences. Yes, you could have somebody around you that may be saying to you, hey, listen, you know, sometimes we go through things. Yeah, and sometimes it does hurt. And sometimes it is a burden. And sometimes it is stressful. And maybe someone here feels like there is too much going on, right? Boundaries. It says here on the Emperor card, organization. For someone here, it may be time for you to put your foot down with certain people. Ten of fire, nine of pentacles, eight of air. Cool. I feel like someone as well wants to release something, but they just may be like, you know what, how? <laughs> You know, someone here feels trapped, but the Eight of Swords, it talks about something being an illusion, an illusion of being trapped. It says a lack of self-confidence. It says afraid to take action. Now, I almost wanted to say, and please do just take this as a metaphor, but it's almost that energy, unless someone here has a gun to your head. Ace of Air, I don't know, maybe that's the truth for someone, you know. Yeah, message. But someone could also be worried about um, maybe separating from somebody. It, it, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not going to bust my brain like whoever this is busting their brain <laughs> about this situation. Okay. I feel like someone here has got some sort of wise counsel. But what they do with the information is completely up to them. Queen of Air. Queen of Air talks about clearing away all that no longer serves you. And I'm hearing for someone here all that stands in your way of you progressing, of you fulfilling your wishes and your dreams. It says seeing the humor in a situation now, depending on what you've been through, okay? You've got the free of air out here. Right, some of you may be like, hey, listen, what I went through was not funny. Okay, I understand that. But with life experience, what was the reason for it? Was it for you to learn the lesson and move forward? Hmm. 
It says a significant life event. It says a powerful revelation that leads to change. It says time to spread your wings and fly. Was it a situation to catapult you onto your path that you're supposed to be on? Again, going back to that song. Being chosen. And I feel like people that are chosen have to have some sort of experience or something underneath their belt. Because if you've never really been through anything painful or anything that hurt, then what are you going to go forward and teach anybody that is going to be in those situations? Hence the energy of being a healer. Show me more, Spirit. Give me some cards for my Virgos. What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Give me three cards. What's the strongest energy here, Spirit? Give me two more. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm seeing a happy home. It says my people will live in safety quietly at home. They will be at rest. You have be the love you wish to receive. It says, those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. And I feel like that kind of relates to a little bit about something, what I just said, right? And then you have, honor your uniqueness. It says, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. It says, your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. And this is that, it just keeps bringing me back to that energy of being chosen, right? Someone here, you may have gifts, and I don't know if you're afraid of them or something that you need to embrace because you were given the gifts for a reason. Yeah, I'm here to go forward and help others. Now, if you have a specific question, I would get it in your head now. I'm going to see if I can help and get you an answer to that question, okay? Give me one card to try and help Virgos answer their question. <laughs> I don't know. You got helpful people. I thought we were just talking about healers and people that are chosen and this and that. Give me one more, just in case. Helpful people. Give me a clear answer. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. <laughs> How many questions? <laughs> Spirit, it's like we can't answer all those questions with just one card. I know, but there we go. You know what? Trust. <laughs> Trust your own inner knowing and be assertive here. Okay. So end this reading for me, for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Don't let anybody bully you or push you out of anything. Because I'm hearing the song by Alkaline Formula. They didn't want you here. Someone don't want you somewhere. Somebody trying to bully you or, I don't know, get you to leave or not do something. <laughs> What else, Spirit? So I'm seeing have no fear. Give me one more. Thank you. 
man. So the first one I'm seeing here, okay, which is reminding me of the, when I was saying at the very beginning, when I said, you know, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, or with my voice to the Lord, I make my, I made my application. And this woman looks like she's praying. Your prayers are being heard. It says pray from the heart. It says prayer really can move mountains. It says reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. And maybe some of you need to pray, you know. You have have no fear. So I'm seeing two cards with a number five here, right? 23 could be significant or 32, but it does boil down to a five. And then you have number 14, which could be significant or 30, 41, which boils down to a five. OK, it's time for something to end here. Yeah, letting go. I'm telling you. You have fear is a trap of the ego. It says, allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. And then you have a number four. And it says, what have we been saying? It says, be a light to others. It says, you have a powerful message to share. It says, shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. You're here to help others for someone. But I'm hearing spirit say, but first allow yourself to be helped. So that is what I have for you, Virgos. I do hope that something has resonated with you. I do ask that if it has, that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe, love and light, guys.